This video will provide you with the basics to update your chart view database on the G3000 integrated avionics system. To begin, remove the lower SD card from each display. Insert the SD card into the card reader for the computer that will be used to complete your updates. With your computer connected to the internet, open Jeppesen Services and enter your username and password. The update manager will display all the available databases in your account. Scroll down to Garmin G3000 Electronic Charts with the cycle date you subscribe to. To determine the coverage of a particular database, highlight a line, then right click to look at the properties. When you have chosen the database you need, click Start. Under Pick an Option, pick the top option and then click Browse. You will then select Garmin Removable Disk Folder option. The removable disk shown in the video may not be the same as the one on your computer. The Update Manager will download the file, followed by installation. The time to download can vary depending on internet connection speed. Do not remove the card during the installation phase. The time remaining for the download will be displayed in the current selection status box. When the download is complete and the card is ready for use, pop-up box appears. Select OK and remove the SD card. You will repeat these steps for the remaining two lower SD cards. At the aircraft with power off, place the SD cards in the bottom slot of each display. Select aircraft power on. The displays may have multiple messages stating that the database will be verified before use. Once the database has been verified for use, the MFD splash screen will display the database status on the right side of the screen. After the chart view database disable date is displayed, select battery power off. After 10 seconds, select aircraft power on. Not shown in this video, your GTC displays will automatically begin the sync process when power is selected on. To verify the databases have properly synced, the database status must be verified. Either GTC1 or GTC2 can be used to verify the status. From the home screen on the GTC, select Utilities, Setup, Avionics Status, and then Database. You will now verify the expiration date on the MFD, PFD1, PFD2, GTC1, and GTC2 to ensure the update was successful. The chart view information is the last database and is accessed by selecting the down arrow. As seen in the video, GTC1 is verifying the chart database. GTC2 is currently completing the sync process from the MFD card. After the sync verification is complete, the expiration date will be displayed. The Garmin lower display cards must remain in the aircraft display to prevent error messages from displaying.